So we've added thermal scaling to um, <clears throat> all of our platforms, and it gives you the ability to um, scale your part up and down based on temperature <clears throat> without having to migrate to our um, compliant modeler, which will, you know, apply thermal scaling based on the FEA data <clears throat> and the material properties. And it's it's a little more complicated to apply thermal um, with compliant modeler because you need the FEA files. Now you can apply thermal just based on a coefficient of expansion number and a temperature change to any of our platforms <clears throat> in 3DCS. If I come over here, this is pretty cool stuff. I'm going to um, <clears throat> turn off these moves. I'm going to turn this one on. And so one of the things first I'll show you is inside the move list, <clears throat> underneath our standard moves, you know, now have this move here, which is thermal scaling. Excuse me. If I go into this move, this is the thermal scaling move. It's quite simple. You just pick your part. You define your coefficient of thermal expansion. For demo purposes, this is a pretty large expansion. You know, for steel, there'd be one more zero in here. And then you define the temperature that you want to heat this part up to. And uh so if I if I say 200 degrees, my starting temperature is 20 already. So 200 is going to be the final temperature, which would be plus 180 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and turn my mesh on. If I can find it with all these dialog boxes open. And if we look, this is applied to currently just the base. So I'm going to heat the base up. If I build this. Since I turned everything off, you don't see anything yet, but we don't apply the thermal at the nominal build stage because we want you to have all your nominals based on the design. But as soon as you hit deviate, hopefully you saw this thing just expanded, plus the tolerances. I'm going to do that again. That's the original. As soon as I hit deviate, that's the thermal expansion. If I come over here, let's make it 400. Now I'm going to build, deviate. So you can see, you know, and when you're going to have thermal expansion, you want to do it before any of your original moves. So just so that you can see, if I turn this off, <clears throat> I'm going to cancel this. We'll turn these on here. Activate. If I do a nominal build here, I think I added. Went to self. No, come on. I thought I added one here. Different uh, cover fit right here. So this is, you know, this is the um, distance from here to here. If I go into this measurement, it's currently 1.3 millimeters. Just so that we can um, <clears throat> not have anything affected by tolerances, let's uh, deactivate that. We got anything in here. Reactivate that. This stuff should affect everything forward. So if I do a nominal build and hit deviate, you can see how it just expanded. And if I go into that measurement now, it's 2.10. So this is showing you, oops. I want to leave that open. Whoops. Yeah, so nominally, that distance 
Oh, that's interesting. Separate, not when to build. Current. What just happened here? Separate, not when to build. Okay, there we go. It's looking like I still have a thermal turned on. Day model. Oh, look at that. I did have a thermal turned on. Yeah, okay. So if I do a nominal build, and I go into this measurement. I don't know why that's no longer reading. Oh, I'm in the wrong measurement. That's why. Sorry. It's this measurement. Yeah. So there's my 1.29. And then when I hit deviate, pause it. There's the 2.10. There's no variation happening in this direction. It's only varying up and down and in and out. So you can see the effect of that thermal. And, and thermal is just going to be a, um, you know, it's just going to be a mean shift. So if I was to go to run an analysis, you can see here in this measurement, the nominal was 1.3 and the mean was 2.10 due to the thermal. So the idea is you can, uh, if I go back into this thermal, <clears throat> you can add all the parts that you want here. And if you have to have this set the same coefficient, then if I, you know, if I say same, if I added additional parts, say I go ahead and say add part, and I pick this piece here, Okay, you can see this is grayed out because I'm set to use the same coefficient. If I turn this off and I turn this off, I can modify the temperatures individually. I'm not going to mess with that, so I'm just going to remove it or hit cancel. So now one of the things I want to point out is um, if I turn these off again. So I need them off because, uh, you know, because this thermal is applied during deviation, or or I can use the deviate to offset. So you can see it just expanded. But one of the other key things is the expansion is going to be the same. It only applies to DCS points or meshes. So not it's not going to do anything with any of these other features on the part, just the DCS mesh and points. And it's going to deviate, or it's going to expand, let me get back to the base here, from the first point in the list. So it's either going to expand from the first mesh node in the first feature in your list, um, in your list of features here, or so if you have no points, if it's all feature-based modeling, it will expand from the first mesh node in the first feature in the list. If you have points in your model, it will expand from the first point in your point list. So I'm going to go ahead and um, delete point 10. Well, before I delete point 10, just so that you can get a good visual. Again, let's, let's change this to like 500. Build deviate offset. Okay, so that's the thermal expansion. And when you when I deviate, you can see it's expanding from this point here. I added that point, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that point. Delete. And now, if I do a nominal build. Deviate to offset. I don't know if you noticed, but now it's expanding. 
from here, which is that point right there. So to summarize it now, in any of your models, you can add this move and you can pick which parts, set your coefficient of expansion, set your temperature, and um, have the effect of thermal interact with your, your simulation.